Kaikoura is turning on some great weather and hopefully a few butterfish for our seafood risotto as well. When it comes to spearfishing, you can't hold Bill Beasley back. As long as you've got a good set of lungs and a decent aim, spearfishing's a great way to catch this common kelp fish. Growing up to 50 centimetres in length, butterfish or green bone are found throughout New Zealand, but most commonly in the south. They're vegetarians and thrive on kelp, and there's plenty growing around here. There's plenty of fish too, but it doesn't make them any easier to get. While Brownie's chasing butterfish, I'm hooking back up with Clarkie. Just down from the caravan is a launching pad for Nin Spin, and I've come to pull a few pots in exchange for a few craze. There you going, Clarkie? Great day for it, eh? Yeah, not too bad. She's looking a wee bit choppy. Getting out along this rocky coast is half the battle for local cray fishermen, but when Clarkie's dad found a place for the caravan, he spotted this great natural harbour as well. And with the help of his deckhand Bryce, it's another successful launch. What's the game plan, mate? Get a feed of fish, eh? Oh, OK. See how it goes. <laughs> OK. Get some dinner. Sounds good to me. So far, dinner's been eluding me. But with Bill's great aim, butterfish are back on the menu. Clarkie's patch is the coast, a couple of k's each side of the caravan. Today, we're lifting pots that have been soaking overnight. I said I'd give him a hand, but I'm not sure who needs it most. <laughs> oh, that's a blowy. Sorry, mate, I didn't realise. I didn't hear the call from a skipper. <laughs> Crayfish hide in caves and crevices during the day, venturing out at night to look for food. During these winter months, females are sitting tight, protecting their eggs. So it's mainly males interested in taking the bait. That's great for the resource. The females replenish the stocks, and the males replenish the pots. Yeah, this looks awesome, bringing up a big pot like this, just wriggling with crayfish. For hundreds of years, the crayfish along this coast have been feeding the folk of Kaikoura. And this valuable resource seems in good shape which allows Clarkie to continue the tradition, gathering just enough to supply the caravan and a few extra for the local market. With the butterfish on board, we're after a few other flavours for our dish. And that's the great thing about a risotto. It's like an open book. That's a good-looking kid, eh? Look at that. So each of these kinners have got five segments, five segment rows in them. Yeah. Different times of the year, different tastes, creamy. Yeah. Very nice at the moment. Very sweet, eh? Very sweet. It's very good for a hangover brownie. I wouldn't know, mate. Don't drink. <laughs> Can we win a dropper, mate? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Just like a real fisherman, you haven't mate. Cooked yet. <laughs> With tomorrow's pots put back in, Plenty of craze on board. My work here is done. Now seriously, how many can I take? How many would you like? Four, five. Well, Thanks you, better take, you better take your limit. It's <laughs> okay. Am I allowed one more, am I? <laughs> okay. Thanks a million, eh? Brownie's gonna be stoked. See you at the cook-up, eh? Yeah, no worries. Sounds good to me. That was awesome. See you later. Nice, nice to meet shot you. on that big butterfish. Woohoo! The kai is coming. The kai kora. With butterfish, crayfish, and kinna, we've got the makings of a great risotto. There's one ingredient left the jewel in the crown, power. And we're told we can find it a few k's up the road, 50 metres off State Highway 1. Cold, fading light. But they reckon they're everywhere around here, so yeah. we'll give it a crack, eh? It won't take you long, mate. OK, you look after the car. Yeah, well, I'm expecting an important phone call, eh? Otherwise, okay. it'll be right in there. <laughs> He's 
straight into it. Oh, brownie, eh? He's, he's like a um, bloody porpoise or a seal or something. He's just no mucking around. There's not too many places in the world where the mountains meet the sea and the sea life extends right to the road. They say the colder the water, the larger the power. And the cool Kaikoura waters are delivering. Are you on, John? At this size, we'll only need a couple. They're not bad, are they? Yeah, real rippers. Nice deep ones, big, yeah. deep, fat ones. Major highway right State there. Highway one. Fading light. And you can still get a feed. Yeah, that's awesome, eh? Kaikoura. Doesn't get any better.